Hello, everyone. My name's Dion Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from the top 16 of the Coruscant Galactic Championship. This is the finale of our Galactic Championship series. We are going to crown a Galactic Champion. Top 16, we have a familiar name and one that is less known. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. We'll go ahead and uh, and get started here. Yes, Dion. I'm Ryan Farmer. Yes. And <laughs> I mean, you just started. You started yelling rigged. I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna intro. Rigged. It. It's not even All doing it. Okay. He doesn't even introduce me because he knows I'm right. He <laughs> knows I'm right. Check the count. We uh, we got two really great players here. I am very excited. This is an awesome matchup. On the left side of your screen, running the resistance, we have Marcel Manzano running 4A. We know that 5A has been very, very, very popular, but we have 4A wing now. Uh, ZZ uh, with starboard slash heroic proton rockets and an advanced optics. Tali with the same build and Sefton Vanek, the new I-5, um, all in the same, uh, all kitted out exactly that. And then Merrill Cobbin with Intimidation. And advanced optics so if you're looking at what this does starboard slash is throwing strains on things then meryl can intimidate them reducing their agility even more um lots just then opening it up for those huge proton rocket strikes on the other side you got billy baggins north over with harrison doula with intimidation advanced sensors zeb and saw and dash rendar with biston and perceptive co-pilot so <laughs> I guess the name of the game here is can Marcel deal enough damage with these proton rockets before these heavy, heavy, thick boy hitters of the rebellion can punch back hard. And the bets are open. They'll be open for another 25 seconds, by the way, another 25 seconds. So get uh, get your bet in now. We opened it up early. You guys always ask for us to open it up early, and we did. It's on an eight-minute timer. So, and we, get, and we get, know that Marcel's one of the best players um, out there. He's one with a, a wide variety of squad. Dion, do you have any inside information on uh, what led him to 4A, or was this hidden from even your eyes? Oh, we t we talked about it. Um, I I I will tell you the questions I had going into his list. Um, so he has the proton rockets. The proton rockets are in there for the big punch against the uh, uh, against the higher agility ships. Now that's not going to be a huge issue here. It could definitely help with punching in damage into uh, into Hera. Now what's going to be his advantage here is the fact that he's got usually A wing squads have two initiative fives he's been able to fit in three he's got sefton tally and zz now sefton's ability uh is basically marcel mostly looks at it like a bonus it may come up but i i doubt it okay. right I, I doubt it um we'll just have to wait and see there but what i'm looking for is I, I, let me talk about the bad habits of marcel manzano okay the objectively bad habits he doesn't ever look at points i love you marcel he like like not until it's like oh I could have you mean I could have won if I would have done this yes now that has been to his benefit and to his detriment sometimes to his benefit sometimes it's put him in situations where players go like why in the world would he be more aggressive here it doesn't make any sense and then he catches somebody off guard right that that he's he's had those situations come up all the time um, he is a fan of flexibility he likes to be able to have and a wings are 100 percent. Uh, and it's a testament to that they can shoot out the front or the back which means they have many possibilities of where they can go um if he can be squirrely he'll be squirrely the, yeah no the doubt about it the thing i'm worried about is he really likes those proton rockets which is great but i do worry sometimes about the overextending to try to get the proton rockets off Sometimes there are situations where he just he should just be using the primary and he goes a little bit too hard for the proton rocket. Right. We'll see how how he plays it right now. Uh, I know when he when he's playing under the lights, he can get a little crazy. We'll see which Marcel Manzano we get. Though I will say this matchup, I I want I want to see how Billy moves. If Billy can control the the range 1 bubble uh for dash by using Hera as a threat, 
I think Bailey has a good chance in this game. If Marcel can find his spots and and probably take out, uh, I mean, one of these quickly, it dash is your best chance to probably get one uh, in a single turn. Uh, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, and that that the coverage here is uh, really big. Um, the covering that bubble, like you said, keeping Hera close to Dash so mm -hmm. that he can get all those really juicy shots. Let's break down Billy's squad a little bit here because there is some, you know, a lot of interesting things happening. So Hera with Intimidation and Zeb means that if a ship bumps into her in the front, then Zeb allows both ships to fire at one another. But Intimidation means that their agility is reduced by one. Mm -hmm. Hera then adds a die, so it has a five die attack out the front. Advanced sensors mean that even if she were to bump, she could still get the actions. Um, which is very likely a lock in many cases. And Saw Guerrera means that she can take damage to change focus results to crit results, um, which with Hera having as much health as she has is usually, um, you take one damage, change one eyeball to a crit. So Hera hits like a Mack truck. You do not oh, yeah. want to be in that front arc. She hits so, so, so hard. But then you also have a four die gun with Dash Rendar as well. And he's running Biston and Perceptive Copilot. And Dion, do you want to tell the viewers what that interaction is, what Biston and Perceptive Copilot's doing? One, yeah, absolutely. So Biston reads, after you perform a primary attack, if you are focused, you may perform a bonus turret attack against a ship you have not already attacked this round. Now, right. Perceptive Copilot gives you double focus tokens. So what right. Dash is looking for is to have an attack against one enemy, probably spend the focus on that attack and now because perceptive gives him a second one he's got one available to trigger biston biston has that second shot that is uh biston is probably the i'm gonna say probably i would say is the best version of dash because it gives you that opportunity to leverage those 103 points that you're paying for the ship that uh that does have a lot of tricks but at the same time is essentially it's a shotgun a lot of people like to put in Outrider title and all this. There are some cool toys out there that you can do. But this is Billy went for the pure efficiency, uh, pure offensive efficiency versions of both of these. Dash has, can shoot twice. Both shots are modified because you don't have to spend the focus to do the Biston. You just need to have it. And then Hera, again, full full offensive potential she can do actions she can shoot you while you're bumping and she's fully modified almost every time as long as she's not stressed you know and the other thing is even though it's a two list squad that or two ship squad for billy biston with perceptive if he can get both of those focus tokens allows him to essentially get three shots around now mm -hmm. it's not three against the same ship but marcel's got to be looking at this with his a wings and be looking a little a little scared because this is the kind of squad that billy likes to see it's like a lot of those ships with you know even three agility ships he can punch really hard dash can like dash mm -hmm. can get stuff through on these a's and then if the a's roll poorly suddenly you're looking at half really quickly hera doing a k turn keeping a little cagey trying to get marcel to come to him And we can't overstate how good the advanced sensors is on Hera. It just allows her to may be able to get those actions to continually hit so, so, so hard. And also, Dion, with Hera, um, when you get into sort of that endgame situation, given the longer K turn mm -hmm. on the VCX, if you get mucked up a bit in a parking lot or you try to block Hera or flank her or get behind her, it's a lot harder to flank this big base ship. A lot of times with these heavy hitters in the front, you can kind of get behind them like the Upsilon and just chip away. With Hera, she can advance sensors, get that lock, flip around, and now suddenly you're in big trouble. You can't just trail behind her like you can these other big hard-hitting ships. Now, I see that some people are still asking about bets. We did open the bets already. I can keep it open until they f uh, no, they're they already moving these dials. No, nope, can't open it. Still got a couple, couple of ships to go. You're done. 
You I guess we're not in engagement yet. Here you go. <laughs> I'll open it. To the engagement. Do you want to know the Ryan Farmer key piece of the game here? Give me that Ryan Farmer key piece of the game. I think it's going to be my guy, Merrill Cobbin, is the key piece of this game. What does Merrill do? Merrill is, while friendly ship at range 0-2 to two, performs a primary attack, if you're in the defender's bullseye, the defender rolls one fewer defense die. So if Merrill can block um, the front of Dash in that bullseye, Dash has zero defense dice against these attacks. Um, and obviously you want to be in Dash's donut already, which is a good place for Merrill to be. Um, I will see if that has an effect later on in the game if Marcel can get that dream in the bullseye block with intimidation. And ooh, all right. Sefton gonna be taking a shot. Range three. Uh -oh. We're uh -oh. closing the betting. The betting is Mar closed. Close the windows. Close it. Now it could only be shot once, ooh. but that is a great way to start Whoa. for Billy. Three Big hits yikes. and a crit. And that's, that's half, half, half that's points. Half points on Sefton right there off the bat. Huh. Da -dum. So Marcel being a little aggressive there, moving Sefton in, Sefton in, and he he waded into the deep end without his floaties on, Dion. He sure did, and doesn't come up with anything. He got heroic. Spend for two. Dash has three defensive dice, has focus. And we'll be taking one. So I traded two shields on the on Sefton for a, one shield on Dash. I think he's okay with that trade. Who? Uh, I think Marcel. Um, I think Billy's okay with that Billy, trade. Yeah, I would. Yeah, Billy. I yeah. would say he's probably okay with it. Yeah, I don't think Marcel is. Billy definitely is, though. Well, I don't know. Let's see. What What's the percentage of health? You got 10, 10 and fourteen. That's 24. And then the other side, you got two, a four, eight, 12. You got 23 eight. on, oh yeah, 24 on Billy's side. Yeah. This is less of shield, yeah. Four times four, and 16. Only 16 on Marcel's side. So yeah, definitely, definitely a worse trade for Marcel there. Higher percentage. Hmm. Well. Yeah. Brutal. And the, the problem now with the positioning is the fact that Sefton's in a weird spot. Well, I mean, I don't think, I really, really don't think that Marcel's expecting Hera to K-turn like that. Mm. I really don't. I think he thought that Hera was going to keep running behind Dash alongside there. And now Hera's in a position to just dunk on Sefton if he comes forward. Now, keep in mind, there are a lot, you know, that was just the first shot, and Marcel has lots of lots and lots of options available to him. Um, but Sefton's in a very precarious spot right now. Yeah, it's, it's just one of those. It's one of those feeling things, right? It's like we just got into yeah. the initial. It, it looking at the board, it feels like it's not it, an engagement didn't happen. Just like the distance, yeah. um, and that Marcel's going in with two shields down. But we'll yeah, see. Exactly. We'll, Billy Billy is in a position to continue to press the pressure. Yep. And Hera lining up there. I mean, the I don't think there's any way Sef any place Sefton can go to not get shot at. I really don't. But uh, Hera, does she, she doesn't have a turret, so you might be able to get in the pocket. Maybe. Yeah, the best thing for Sefton would be somehow if he did like maybe a three hard and boost it into the bubble. Yeah. Yep, that looks, that's focus. Are we getting the boost? Probably boost left, right? Or boost forward, probably boost left. I think because you got to get out of Hera's yep. arc if you can. He's he's trying to debate whether to do the straight or the forward because of the proton rockets. Yep, exactly. And I don't think he's gonna have them. Yeah, I think he's gonna. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. I think he might just clip it, Dion. Yeah. He it, it's very close on those rockets though. Yeah, we'll bring you guys another view here from the Patreon cam. Here we go. Did Tali land on a rock? Uh, yeah, she did. Oh my goodness. 
All right. So what do you, what do you guys think? Oh, what are you doing? Oh my goodness, he loses his shield. Hey, you. Oh. Oh. Marcel. Wow. Look at him go. Oof. The Oof. the fifty three percent of the people who bet their points. Oh. Oh Ooh. boy. Oh. Ooh. They get his lucky stars. Just the short. Just short. Wow. Now Billy is the first player. So yeah, Dash gets to fire first. Only three dice here. It's gonna be and two. He'll spend. Yeah, no problem. Sefton does Ooh. have a focus. So yeah, he's gonna I mean, Marcel will probably decide to take a damage, right? I mean, I think no. Yeah. He's going to. This is a big risk. He's saying that he's a hundred percent sure that he's got that proton rocket. He's going full yeah. offense here. Yeah, he wants that. He wants that a full offense. He took the one damage there, so he could get the rockets off. Oh, did he, he says he's got it. I didn't. I didn't see the arc check, but I mean, I, I feel like he has it. I'd like to see. He does not. No. Oh, Marcel. <laughs> Can we get a Patreon cam on that, Dion? Yeah. Uh... Oh, it went away. Yeah. Oh man, he does not have the bullseye. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely gutting. He does do a damage there. Yep, but just one. Wow. And he, Marcel, should be clenching right now. And very fortunate that Tali was just out of range there of Hera. Which, I mean, I, I mean I'll give Marcel the benefit of the doubt. I mm -hmm. bet he knew that he that was out of range no matter what. And just the rock was an unfortunate happenstance. Uh, two two damage. Uh, yeah, should yeah should have been two because he had focus for optics. So, did uh did dash roll dash roll not? There should be two two hits, right? Yeah. Another shield on dash. Well, did Marcel remember to use optics, right? I wasn't sure if he did. Because Marcel forgot then. Oh, that's, that's true. I thought I saw the die flip. Yeah. And people are saying, yeah. I didn't know. But yeah, they flipped the other shield. Yep. People are saying, yep, yep, yep. He changed the die. Cool, the chat cool, cool. revels in pointing out mistakes like an FFG article. <laughs> you got 800, 800 watchers ready, ready to go. All right. And uh, shout out to uh, Adam Stevenson and another. Who, who, it looks like we got two new patrons. Thank you guys so much. So, Dion, where do you go if you're Hera, right? I think you still, do you let, do you expose that flank to Tali and just say, yeah, it's fine? Or do you peel Hera away from the rest of this fight, leave Dash hanging, and see if you can get that bump dunk on Tali? Uh, I think you just take the safe move. You go one, one bank to the right if I'm Hera. I disagree. You disagree? Yeah, I think you either need to go hard with Hera back towards the center of the board near Dash, or you go hard into up into Tali to try and like, di like go like destroy her. I don't like the one bank safe move there. I think you need to do like a two bank left, or I don't know if they have a three bank. Let me check their their dial. Um, but I, the half measure I think is just. The danger zone for Tali to come in and just immediately wreck you with a proton torp. Um, and there's potentially you don't even get any shots back with Hera. And you can't afford to have that happen. They do have a three bank. So, I mean, I'm not sure if that three bank lands you on the asteroid. I don't think it does. Um, but again, large base ships are not my forte. But Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't even doing... matter. For, for Hera? For Hera. Yeah, it wouldn't matter because you have advanced sensors. You do your action before you move. 
Yeah, but she's on the asteroid. She can't shoot. Oh, the asteroid? Oh, no, she's good. Yeah. Um, no, she's... It's always hard for me to tell. Three bank, large base. That's a lot of space covered. Nah, she's got um, it. She's got that all day. I think you either decide, you either do a one or two bank to the right with Hera, or you do a three bank left with her. That's that's what I, that's my consideration. Now the, the left sets you up to uh, to finish off Sefton, and I guess you know the the one good side the one good side for Marcel with the fact that Sefton because Sefton didn't die last yeah. turn uh, with the engagement it this is probably it, Sefton dying next turn is probably about the right amount of timing with Sefton sure. being engaged that seems about right. The question is, will the trade be enough? Right. And yeah, you know, that you actually bring up kind of an interesting question here, Ryan, is for Billy, is Billy going to keep keep the the focus of his his attacks in the same area, so kind of focusing on that group of 3 and let Tally get into the flank or is it Dash and those 3 A-wings versus Hera and Tally? Yeah, I don't I personally don't think that I would move ta uh Hera up towards Tally. Because that's a, a really big risk to get her out of the fight for a while. I'd rather push her back towards the center of the board where I know there are lots of viable targets where I will definitely be able to get shots turn after turn for the next several rounds. And then if I move Dash back in, if I bank Dash up and in, Dash can cover Tali going against Hera. That would be my thinking. All right, here we go. I'm just I'm personally me not willing to take the risk to go after Tali like that. Uh, Dash is turning to the right. Didn't want to go into the corner. That's where Dash is go to die. Hera taking a reinforce. Taking the safe one bank. Very interesting here. Let's see if he if uh, Tali ends up bumping into Hera. Yeah, this is what I was worried about. You do something like that, and now Tali is able to barrel roll and boost out of that arc. This but the is good true. news is um, Hera can now do a three hard to the left and get back in the fight pretty quick. Yeah, you see Marcel's pinging the left side because of the barrel roll, yep. and we'll get the boost here. Does he have the space to boost to the right? I think he does. But he'll boost forward. It's being safe there. I'm not sure if yeah. he catches the back, uh, the back arc. No, he does not. That's a good move by Dash because it keeps Sefton honest there. Uh, it, Sefton will have to focus boost left in order to get a shot, which means he's out of the fight for a minute because he'll have to loop all the way back around. Uh, the other thing Marcel could do is just say, you know what, I'll leave Sefton there. Um, he'll probably have to boost him forward at least to not get in that side arc. Uh, mm -hmm. And then if you just do a boost forward, you could set up the one hard boost next turn to get your prockets closer to being online. And that's what you have to consider there. There's the boost, boosting forward and rotating. Not sure he's going to have the angle there. That's tight. I'm not sure if he'll have the arc. If you wanted to do that, I think you were going to have to boost left. All right. And this so is where... Yeah, that procket is some, on. <laughs> yeah, that procket's definitely on. Dash getting procketed for sure. That's five dice coming in. Uh, mind you, uh, Billy does shoot first. Yep. And that's where prockets can really hurt you there because if you have to spend that focus, right? Yep. Now it is it is it is ZZ. So ZZ will end up with a mod no matter oh, what. That's a good point. Yeah. Spends a focus for three hits going into ZZ. Ooh. You have to spend it. You, you, it is. I mean, spend the focus. Yeah. You get it back. It's fine. Yeah, you get it back. Yeah, exactly. But that's still another half right there. Something Marcel is doing really, really well though, is um, keep me, keep making it so Biston doesn't get that second shot over and over. Yep. But at least now Dash has that focus to uh, for defense. Another, so yep. And Sefton does not get a shot there. Tali doesn't get a shot. And keep in mind, Dion, if Dash goes, um, if Dash dies and he trades Dash for one and a half of these A's, I really like Hera in that endgame still. Absolutely. 
even though he, despite Hera moving first because Hera can block them yep here's a five dice coming in and oh. three hits on the proton yeah that's I mean without the lock that's about what you're looking at so he'll spend only one damage on dash from that one from that proton rocket yeah, trading half points there you hate to see it now again, and getting, something else. I, that... I, hold on, I, I I need, I I want I want to remind you guys of what I said at the beginning of the game, the over over aggressiveness will be will be his undoing. Now, what I have what I have noticed from Marcel though is that he even when he when he's behind, he he has the capabilities to get focus and strap it down and start making the right decisions. It's usually the opening that catches him. Right. So we'll see if he uh, if he continues to be a little bit too aggressive. Something else. Dion, There's that's another. Really, really the shields working. are down on dash. By the way. Um. Something that's really working in Billy's favor is that he's able to move first to avoid some of these starboard slashes, as well. Yep. He can put his ships in position for those to not proc to avoid the strains, which is 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 big. I don't love starboard slash on the fives if i'm being honest because mm -hmm. it's hard to guarantee you're going to get them off now they're great against other fives and other sixes if you don't have the bid which is where i'm assuming their big value comes in against stuff like kylo it allows them to compete with those other aces but um in this matchup it's going to be hard to despite how big the bases are to consistently get them off um something else that's worth considering here is perhaps Hera did that one bank with the intention to k-turn mm -hmm. get behind tolly but i don't think he's going to do that because of where that asteroid is so i'm i would expect a probably a three hard turn to the left from Hera. advanced sensors do that because you know, the longer Hera stays alive is not damaged like that's fine i'm, I'm gonna give you some more insight into the brain of marcel manzano okay mm-hmm so there there is <laughs> gamesmanship is part of the game right gamesmanship yeah. gamesmanship can present itself in many many ways um i remember the first time marcel did this thing where he was like oh man i'm losing more, more sincere than this though i'm losing things are going bad but then slowly as, as i'm playing the game i was like wait a second Oh my played. God, he's winning now. <laughs> where, where you know, because you know, there's players who kind of get down and out, right? And then they start playing crappy. Uh, Mar Marcel, th here's the truth about Marcel. Marcel isn't actually sad about the game until the game is over. So, uh, hopefully, hopefully, Billy doesn't get too comfortable. Don't get comfortable, well, he Billy. Because you know, Dash is only at six hall, right? Yeah. Like Tali's coming in now, hard with a procket. <laughs> Like the game's much, much, much closer than it appears. Um, mm -hmm. it, it it's very important that Billy doesn't get complacent with Dash uh, as well. Now we are almost. Are we almost there? Looks like one, two, three, four dials by six. So look, looks like we're gonna get ready to go. I'm really curious to see what this. Uh, what these pilots are doing. So Merrill going into the corner here. Yeah. And Sefton's going to be out of the fight for a minute too. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the plan here will be to bring Sefton and Merrill back together. Probably. Yeah. But it's going to take some time to do that. And that's time that, um, I mean, we're having a bit of a, everyone's repositioning, but I'm curious to see what shots actually occur. So it looks like we have a rotate, no focus, maybe. Marcel flip-flopping on what he wants to do. He did take a focus there. Well, focus, rotate would stress him. Right. But they do have those two hard blues. I'm just waiting on the action decision here.
There's a lot going. This is a big turn. This is a big turn. I think what the debate is, uh, if Dash does something like a uh, one hard, would it be in range? He's already gotten yeah. caught one time at the very edge of Dash's range three. So I think that is the the question of whether or not to to take the focus rotate or or just the focus. Would he have shots? And Dash is going away hard. Three hard away. Seems like that Proton Rocket may have spooked him a little bit. Hit the cloud, though, guys. Um, I bet he was hoping to not hit the cloud and rotate back. Well, so it's Dash. He ignores obstacles. Um, so that's why he's able to get the focuses still. But one of the things I find interesting about that is by – I feel like he's – there it is. He's using yep. Dash to bait, saying, hey – you can have Dash. You might get wrecked by Hera, though. I am worried that Dash is just going to eat another Proton uh, proton from Tali, though. That it sure like is. This, that's right going to be like, uncontested. That's what I would, be, have, would have been really, really worried about. And now ZZ is going to come in hot as well. I, I, I don't love that that Dash move. I'm going to be totally honest. He's not going to have any shots. And Hera's not going to have any shots. No, if ZZ did, did uh, I would say, a three-speed three, three speed or faster, she could 100% be out of all the arcs because of the space and the overlap on the backside. Ooh, did a yeah. two. That's going to be close. And actually, I think that might even be okay. Yep, a boost gets him, gets him out. Like, we could see a dead dash on this turn, and if that's the case... Four A's versus Hera, even despite some of them being damaged, is a really big hole to climb out of. Not insurmountable, but with Hera moving first, like Dash has to have done a little more work. Uh, Nick, can you please ping the stress? I think Sefton should be stressed. I wonder what his mindset was on that dash move. Rotate only works as a red action. Rotate is not an action. What? Are you... Oh, how have I never noticed that before? Yeah, you, you can't actually rotate on, like, as yeah. an action on the A-Wings. You have to do it after, that. you have to stress in order to do it. Well, we'll let this finish off here. And with the boost from ZZ, that's going to be double procket, or double range one shot. This is three yep. dice. Absolutely. And we'll get the roll here. Looks like we Focus got Focus for three. Optics for three. Big yikes for Dash. Now, he does have focuses, so yep. that'll only be one. It's going to be down one. If Dash does live here, which he has a pretty good chance of doing, five health, right? All right, guys. Uh, the chat, I love you guys. You guys, I'm, I'm, uh, Slow down. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. I love you. Five dice. Oh, really bad roll Whiffs from Marcel there. there. Dash could be bailed out pretty big here. Optics for two. They're gonna be wow. taking two. Good thing that wasn't a, a more power more powerful procket, but we're definitely on the half threshold on dash. So down to three. Yep. Three hole left. Marcel yeah, I mean has taken the lead at one with by one point. Okay, now, now would be the appropriate time to work on the stress. All right, hold on. I'll be back. Okay.
Okie dokie. We're back. All right. They got sorted, everyone. 100% done. Okay. So Dash did survive, but I don't think that he should feel <laughs> confident every round that that's going to happen, especially because he has ZZ just trailing him hard and he still is not in, in, in a great spot. If I'm Hera, I think I try to do a too hard to the left and Dash does a too hard or three hard to the right maybe or, mm -hmm. or maybe a bank it's really tough because you don't want to get bumped by tolly here i got a, i got a uh a little math question i pulled up gate of storms yeah um so the expected result on a procket okay three yep. die uh, five dice with a focus expected is 3.75 yep all yep. right Was there more? No, no, no. Sorry, I just got distracted by the chat. <laughs> uh, three, three point seven five. So getting three hits on on it isn't. It's a little bit below the average, but four. It's, it's four is not a guarantee. It's just like most of the time you get four, but yeah. sometimes you get three. But that's that's around the average. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, but I mean, obviously, you really want that lock to spike it for the five. Okay, and we'll we'll go ahead and just double check. No, obviously when it's slightly different because the math is a little weird because you have optics involved in there as well. Right. But you you can't. I mean, it it only. I don't know how much that actually changes it because you really need that focus for to change your focus results that you're probably going to get with five dice. Yeah. So there's. Yep. That's the three hard from dash. That's re a really solid move. Hera doing the 4K, though. Yeah. Very interesting. Trying to get that arc. Maybe assuming that ZZ might be doing the, like, turn away. Could be. Could be. What I do... So, let's see. Sefton... And uh, Septon is the only one with Prockets left because Tali and ZZ have used them. Not sure what the question is here. Oh, it looks like a lock, a lock floated at some point. Yeah. There's a 4K. Oh, he's advanced censoring. Yeah, advanced censor. So yeah. we'll have the have the action. Yeah. So he's gonna lock ZZ with advanced censors before he K turns. Too hard. There comes Sefton. Now, again, Sefton hasn't died yet, so this is uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is that that elongated life. Yeah, and he might be in range two, Procket range now on Hera. All the rotate stress shenanigans got fixed, guys. We're done with it. Move on, please. Thank you. We talked to the players. I asked them both. We got the stress on Sefton. Oh, they man. Said, it was easy. Called the move. Probably he could barrel roll to the left, it looks like. Maybe. I'm not sure if he actually has that barrel roll left. Left and forward, maybe. Mm hmm. Otherwise, you're taking that that shot here three dice well you're taking a shot with zz no matter what i think if he goes right he's taking a shot from dash he's taking a shot from dash right now anyway if he goes left he's still taking a shot from Hera, but i think you'd want it with the cloud if you can get it but i'm not sure if he actually gets that so he's probably just weighing his options here if this does a straight boost fit it might Straight boost barrel roll to the left might get you out of range of Hera and out of arc of dash, maybe? 
Well, I don't think you can boost barrel roll with these guys, right? You have to. It's the. Oh, you can you're, right, you're second, right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Yeah. Not quite the not quite aces, a wings. Yeah, it's a very specific combination. Taking he a wants focus. To focus. And he might just stay there. Looks like. Well, now he has to decide to boost, right? He chose the action, so now if he's going to boost, he's going to boost. It might be boosting forward. Nope, just gonna stay right there. And Tali gets bumped. So okay, so that's minus good for one Dash. shot. Could Dash will only have one shot coming at him, and he has three hull. So pretty good shot with two focus that he lives this turn. Not guaranteed by any means, mm -hmm. but if he lives this next round. If, he, if Dash lives this next round and dies the next round, you've gotten really good value out of him, I think. Yep. A couple of corrections. I did forget to um, handle in optics with the uh, with the shot earlier. So ZZ at range three obstructed here, looks like. So lots if of this, dice for ZZ. If this shot misses, it would end up with a focus evade on ZZ, but that's not going to happen. I mean, well, th there's four dice involved. Five because of the rock. Wait, 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 one sec. Can he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he just he just took a damage uh, to change all his, his yeah eyeballs saw Guerrero to there. Saw. Yeah, I just want to make sure everyone saw what happened there. So four coming in is easy. Sp spend that oh, focus. Spend the focus. He has to. He absolutely has to. And that'll so neuter his shot fairly significantly well zz gets a focus back no that's true he gets it back that's so, why zz's so good it's true. has a defensive token against yeah, dash that's huge yeah i forgot that was easy remember sensor blind spot so no range bonus for dash it's a uh, actually oh, minus and too. only one hit but you you're already seeing the power of Hera here too Oh, he has to decide. Oh, my goodness. And he will spend the focus. I don't know if I would have. I know. Um, so that's that tough. was using Tally's ability to yeah. uh, to add the defensive die. Three dice coming in. Two hits. Two. Still some focuses on dash, too. So going to be getting one more damage card. Take one there. Yep. So dash is down to two. Sefton coming back. Trying to, shoot trying that to get pocket, something. Right? I believe the Procket has been spent on Sefton already. No, I don't think he ever got it, did he? No. One flip. Oh, flip. I guess I guess he did. When now, did they're he all shoot flipped that? over. I, I must be crazy. Yeah, I feel like there was three of them. Two bad, two, uh, a bad one, a good one, and an average one. <laughs> yeah. My bad. My bad. I don't remember him doing oh, that. Oh, no, maybe. Nope. I guess this is it. I might yeah, be he's remembering it to use it. Then you said he wasn't allowed. Oh, another bad procket. My gosh. That is so just that's three prockets in a row with three blanks for Marcel. All three of his prockets that he launched had three blanks in them. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> which is below the mean for sure. Look at him. You know what? It's tough, right? You almost, with Marcel, uh, want to think, like, is it worth it on these guys to, since you know where they're going to be, take locks instead to set up better pocket shots in the future? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. that's a, a, a play style thing. But you've got the time. Like, you can't, like, it, it's not like, like, Sefton's, Sefton could die, right? So you want to get the pocket yeah. off when you can because he's only got one health. But... That these are the risks you run when you're running prockets without locking first. Yep. Like we can say ghost in your dice all you want, but yes, three hits three times in a row is statistically below the mean. Hundred percent. Like one of those should hit for four or five, but it's not like crazy outrageous when you don't have that lock. All right, guys. So we're going into the next round of planning. Want to remind you guys that this round and all of our rounds are brought to you by Curl Park Creatives. Use that coupon code Coruscant2020 for 20% off. 
Um, also, make sure to check out the Fly Better podcast. That's if you guys Thanks, don't know where buddy. Ryan's from. That's where Ryan's from, as well as our Marshall D. Yoon. You get to listen to them argue once a week. Once a week, every Tuesday, podcast comes out from now until probably a long time. <laughs> There you go. So you, you get two two podcasts released on Tuesday. That's pretty sweet, everybody. Yeah. Look at you. Look at us competing for that time slot and something that you can choose when you listen to it. <laughs> True. <laughs> we should start setting the release uh, like earlier and earlier. I released mine on two at uh, seven a.m. I released it at eight a.m. Oh well, my release on that Tuesday is very inconsistent. So ah. <laughs> just sometime on that Tuesday that I get around to uploading it to Libsyn. <laughs> All right. Looks like things are starting to get set. Now l let's look at win conditions for both players right now. Cause if we actually look at the score, Marcel is actually ahead 52 51 because of the cost yep. of dash two more yep. health. And that's 103 points. So while the prockets have not been very powerful, the uh, he's gotten enough He's gotten enough. He can actually trade. He can trade one of the cheaper A-wings for the rest of Dash and still be ahead. The question is then, whichever ships he does Marcel has left, can he can he um, can he overcome Hera? Now yeah. on Billy's side, you gotta get Hera into that bottom left hand corner. You gotta start. You gotta start shooting at ZZ. Finish her off. You got Sefton at only one health. Finish yep. finish them off, and you go from there. Uh, because Hera Hera versus two ships, you you uh, over time you'll be able to get it. Interesting move by Dash here. I like it. Yeah, getting into the corner, probably thinking that Marcel anticipated Billy turning in. Hera will not be Hera able just to saying, get. I don't it. need any actions. It's fine. Yeah, that's right. Has Saw Guerrera available? Yeah, just trying to get shots now. Yep. And I think Dash has a really good shot, a really good chance at getting two shots this round for the first time this game. Okay, boost focus. Oh, bumped with Tali, though the um, bullseye is available. It is up. Yep, for defense. Oh. Yeah, th so Billy ZZ's going to be able to escape Hera here, but there's going to be no escape from uh, from Dash. So Dash should be able to f double fire into Meryl and ZZ, and Hera's going to have a shot v into Tali. Or Meryl, if she wants it, I think, but I'm pretty sure you want to go for the tokenless Tali. But yeah, I mean, Dash right can go first, and you can answer those questions after. I, I want to say, the, Billy. This is Billy's turn right here. Doing that straight maneuver with Dash, yep. absolutely caught him. Because I think what Marcel was anticipating was a hard turn from yep. from Dash, so that Tally could shoot from the back. I agree. And so that ZZ could get on the flank. Now a barrel roll boost with ZZ could have maybe gotten him out, but he's chosen to focus here. So now I think he's trying to decide where he boosts. Yeah, because he he's gonna get shot. I, I I don't think the focus is the right call. <clears throat> it's tough, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, you boost right. I'm pretty sure was easy here, and you just eat that range three shot and hope you live. But you can't take a shot from. Well, the other thing that you here's the other thing you can do is easy, right? Leave him there, and now you have a target priority kerfuffle that Billy needs to solve. Yep. The other option available to ZZ, which might have got him out of both shots, is barrel rolling first with the action to the right and then boosting towards the top of the board. Would have been really risky if you don't get it. Um, I mean, but right, right now you're taking two shots from, yeah. from Hera yeah. and Dash. I agree. No, listen, I'm on the same team, <laughs> my guy. <laughs> Uh, but ZZ is currently locked by her. Yeah, that boost right is absolutely the right call, in my opinion. He's not happy about it, but it's the right decision. All right, here goes Dash. Range one going into Tally. You mean Hera. Sorry, there you go. Hera, range three into Tally. 
Four dice coming in. That's three, pretty good. Three hits. Pretty good. No saw trigger there. Yep. And that's going to be a hit crit getting through that's there. That's half. Half More points. than half. Could Tali die. already had a shield down. Could die with this a could double it. damage. What? Yeah, direct. Oh. That's a dead but, Tali. But well, why did he draw three cards, though? I don't know why he did that. I, I'm not sure. I'm not entirely certain. But this... Uh, yeah. Oh, not, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because it could be yeah, the wrong wait a crit. Minute. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. You rolled one of eight, so it's just a shield and a crit, right? Right. Tali evaded one. What is Marcel doing? <laughs> so blinded pilot. Yeah. Yeah, Tali's still alive. Yeah, so those should go back in the deck and just shuffled back in, I think. Because Tali was down one shield. And here's the dash shot. This is going yep. into ZZ. Yep. Three hits. It's range two. Only three dice available. Yeah, Tali's uh, still alive, so she can give him another die, which is good. So it'll be four dice. Needs a good roll here. Tally's ability and great roll. Ooh, just gets, gets it. out. Gets, gets out. It. And he'll take another shot at Merle. Now, if, if he can get, uh, yep, here's the Is that range instant two trigger. With it or range one? I think it's range one. Dash is at range one in Bullseye. That's Tally's ability. Uh, we didn't get the measurement here. Actually, no, we did. It, was, it is range one, only three dice. Yep. Earlier we saw that. Meryl does have a focus available. It was two hits. I think I would spend it here. You, your your health is... Nah, I don't think Marcel will. I think he I, wants uh, more I... damage. And he wants to guarantee <laughs> he kills Dash with Meryl. Or do his best to try and kill Dash with Meryl. He is not going to spend it. Yeah, and he's, he's taking the shot. Up. He's going to keep those optics up with three dice. Now, of course, Dash does have a focus available for defense. Yep, and two health. So this is a I'm not sure. I think he's pretty good odds here to oh, get three hits. Oh, yeah. okay. Three That's... hits. So you, you, look, you need double paint here for Dash to stay alive. He Got does him. not get it. Does not get it. That'll be a dead Dash. And something Marcel's doing an excellent job of is he still has four A-wings on the table against Hera. Hera can only shoot one of these per round. They're all burning. They're all like, <laughs> <laughs> you know. So it's a damage race now. Uh Oh, and Sefton needs to shoot. Sefton, Sefton forgot to engage. So, yeah. Here we go. Is Marcel shook or what? <laughs> Dion. <laughs> I, I don't know what this man's problem is today. Little optics for two, probably. Yeah. So it takes two there. We're into the I mean, hole. All right. Here's let's, the let's, problem. Let's, give me give, nine one, one second, Ryan. Let's let's go through okay. the overlay. Let's just make sure everything is right here. ZZ down two shields. Good. We need to go minus one shield on Tally and give yep. her the blinded pilot. Yep. Sefton is at one hole. Good. Yep. Coolio. Uh Merrill. Uh, yep, one shield down. Perfection. Yep. Dash, dead. Rip. Yep. And Hera and Hera's is at nine hull. down to nine. One yeah. shield. There you go. And remove the shield. And yep, overlay be... just a little behind here. Okay. Uh, surfing yeah. fin. So shooting, we discussed at the beginning of the tournament that every ship must engage, and that means measure and roll dice if available. That's how we ruled it for the tournament. That's something we decided uh, among the players. So, so 
which Billy, is how I always rule it. So anyway, Billy to win continue. this game needs to take out an A-wing a turn for the next four turns, basically. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, getting getting Dash down puts Marcel in a winning situation, 103-75. Now, le let's talk about the fact that Sefton could be the hero of the resistance. Not dying, yeah. Right. Went in early, got smacked around. Uh, it barely, barely makes it out alive, and, and could be the hero that uh, that the resistance need. Now, like you said, Billy has the tools, right? He could, he has the capability of popping an A wing a turn, especially that they're all hurt. I'd like to see Billy put put Hera in spots where you can maybe get a couple of blocks. But the problem with that is, of course, that these A wings they don't have to be blocked. I think yeah. we're gonna, I think we're gonna start seeing Marcel play. We're going to start seeing Marcel play A-Wings the way A-Wings are supposed to be played. <laughs> I I just, I really am not, I think that he's left a lot on the table with Hera. Like that, remember I said, him moving Hera up like that against Tali mm -hmm. took her out of the fight long enough that it, it just felt, I, I really would have liked Hera to have curved back into the, the bottom of the board earlier in the, game instead of going after Tali like that I think it really kept Hera from doing the things that she wanted to do all right uh there's this random stress token out there didn't Hera reveal a blue maneuver last turn she I don't think she did uh no she did, she did a three, three bank, bank. She did a three yeah, bank. And I was still very surprised she did that three bank. I thought it was going to be a two yep. to clear that stress, but she definitely wanted to get some distance from Sefton. Yep. It, is, it was a three bank, which is not a blue maneuver yeah. on the ghost style. Yeah. Yeah, the clock is not in Hera's favor. These optics A's will just chew through her. Um,. Uh, Shifty3344 really in the chat asking about the, the official app points. Listen, uh, my, my suggestion, Shifty, is don't use it. I'll be completely honest. I know that they're actually rehauling it, uh, which is why it may be getting a little bit ignored right now. We have plenty of awesome community tools that have the most up-to-date points. Um, and if you find a mistake, you just literally send them an email and they'll get it fixed. Uh, Launch Bay Next and Yet Another Squad Builder. I'll say Yet Another Squad Builder is my favorite one. If you want a more of an app experience, you can go with uh, Launch Bay Next. But, um, yeah, my, 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 my professional opinion is don't use the official Squad Builder. Helping you guys out there. Now, with advanced optics on the table with these A-Wings, with nine health, um, we could bust we could see, right through Hera. Yeah, just in the next couple turns. Yeah. <laughs> Trust Dion, he's a real doctor. Not yet. Not yet. If Billy does end up losing this game, I think it's one he'll want to look back on, and uh, he'll want this one back, I think. I think he definitely had a lot of keys and tools in early on in this game to, to kind of press the advantage a bit. Mm -hmm. um, and... You know, not to be harsh on, on Billy for any reason, but um, he, he's let it slip away just a bit. All right, Merrill doing the two bank, boosting. Merrill's okay getting blocked because of the intimidation. But that being said, that could be the one opportunity Hera has to initiative kill him. But but uh, Hera's initiative zero, uh, zero it doesn't do anything but i guess it makes it so that hera can't get an action i ooh, ooh, wait what I do don't... you mean hera's initiative zero i'm so i'm so confused what do you... i mean not initiative zero um uh, agility zero already right but she could kill meryl and meryl won't be able to shoot at her is what i'm saying like the not the intimidation doesn't matter for her but it matters for meryl oh they're because like... they're, they're both they actually both have intimidation that's why i got confused yeah. sorry yeah Double... they both do so hera has a really good opportunity to kill Meryl here. The problem is she doesn't have any mods. And she's got she's got uh saw. Not doesn't want to use saw now. 
Not a uh, nine hole when every hole is so precious against these A wings. I guess yeah. Hmm. 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 You're right. Maybe that's the reason. I, Marcel. Marcel. I want to be in your brain. Why? I. I just. I think that the block was just super gutsy. It's a smart play here because in order to kill Meryl, she might have to hurt herself to do it. That's right. right. <laughs> you can take my ship, but you take. We're taking a piece of you with us. Yeah. Well, let's see if this is just a good natty roll. Billy needs it for sure. One hit. Oh, a crit. It got he, to he's a doing hit. it. He he went for he's the saw. Do it for three. Hit crit crit. Only two agility on Meryl because yeah. of the intimidation from Hera. Let's see if he can get it. Spend the focus. Only takes a shield. Yeah. Wow. And I think that's very likely going to do it for Hera now. Um, I mean, I know she's got eight hull, but. Uh, she's very likely going to take, let's see, one, one, probably one or two from Meryl's. That's two. And then another two from Septic Four. And then maybe one from ZZ. That would be five. So Hera might get one more round yeah. after this. But Dash did not take out enough of these A Wings early. Only so one, one hit. From ZZ. Yep. Sefton will be coming in here. This is going to be three dice range one. Yep. So we'll get the shield taken off Merle here in a moment. Uh, after yep. that range one shot, two damage. And now because of Zeb, Merle will be going range uh, zero, but gets the bo range bonus here. Another damage on the Hera. Hera is down to four hall. And those are all the shots. Now, I want to take a second and talk about the archetype that Marcel brought. You know, we see five A-wings a lot, and there is another five A-wing list, or the, the was. I'm not sure off the top of my head right now. Exclamation point bracket to check out the list, everybody, that are still, that it were for the top 16. Um, but... This four A-wing archetype is something that I find really interesting. You do have that punch with Prockets, but um, I, I'm on the podcast, I'm sure we'll be talking about how this list ended up playing out for Marcel because he wasn't the only one who brought it. There was, uh, there was one more in the top 16 just like it, the same exact loadout, or very similar at least. Um, you know, trading out those Prockets and getting the bonus initiative five, I wonder if there were, were games maybe that Marcel wished that he had five, all five A-wings. Be curious. Right, for sure. All right, and this with uh, only four hole left, um, there's not much left for Hera to do because you got yeah, no shots by the looks of it. The A-wings will have at least three. Elite Malone in the chat confirming that it is the same. Man, Marcel keeping all four A-Wings most, most likely for this entire game is just incredible. Ha! Huh. <laughs> oh, he does have him. From okay, range say, three. Really funny. <laughs> Calculated. Two dice. Spends it for hit crit. Hera does get an agility die because it's range three. Takes them both. Pop, pop. Scroll over, move two, 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 five. Scroll fuel over. fuel leak. Uh-oh. Spends for three. Spends for three. There's the three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. It's over. It's all over. Okay. Now, I need I need to express something here real quickly. I'm glad that Marcel won the game, right? Obviously, he's my friend. But I did not like the way he played. I really didn't. Uh, oh, I, you listen. He, I'm less concerned about some of the maneuvers he made. He was playing pretty sloppy. Like, yeah. missing triggers, missing stress, missing, like activations marcel 
my guy. You're you're arguably one of the best players in the world. Like, can't play like that. Where are you at, man? Come Where on, my man. Get your mind right. Get your Come mind on, right. my guy. Like, that's not. <laughs> now, I mean, or maybe it's mind games. Maybe it's like, wow, man. <laughs> Salt? Why is Danger Man telling me salt? That doesn't make any sense. But anyway, um, 